this is an interesting uh, time being a uh, getting into uh, starting this new uh, chapter for the uh, YouTube uh, video uh, YouTube uh, channel but I want to uh, start with a video about some solid guidance in general for applying to colleges. Now there are three criteria to look at and I will give the three right now. One is your uh, grade point average or grades are an impact zone many colleges and universities will consider. Now to the level of how they put these through may be different from institution to institution, but it is something that they all consider. Two, extracurricular activities uh, within your uh, high school uh, are something that the colleges want to look for. Uh, going back to the grade thing, it used to be that like SATs and so forth were big definitive markers on which schools you will go to. It isn't quite as clear cut that way anymore. So these three are for like the past 10 year trend of where a lot of them are focused on. And it kind of matches the direction that a lot of companies are are aiming for as well. So your SATs, ACTs, um, aren't going to be looked at as heavily as they used to be. So you want to make sure your grades and kind of courses you take are things that uh, bring a great uh, uh, presence to, uh, uh, in your application. You also want to make sure that your extracurricular activities help with that. And what I mean by that is many high schools uh, around the country have things like a school newspaper, uh, sports teams, um, uh, several like philanthropic uh, clubs, which I actually, while I was in high school, I was part of three separate ones. So that's an interesting story all together. Um, then uh, your last part, which is something that now some high schools are requiring I don't know if it is that way with uh, in uh, uh, California as a whole, but when I was going through school, it wasn't a requirement uh, to graduate, but it was encouraged. And I did some uh, community service uh, projects, uh, both with my church and with uh, other uh, organizations. Uh, so. It was something that, and even in the midst of telling you all this that I did, I wasn't actually aiming for any specific college in the process. I was always in the consideration of launching out with a community college, which is another great pathway in to more selective institutions, especially if you get into some of the top 100 community colleges in the nation. I was, a, uh, I was fortunate to be in a community uh, where we had, where our community college was one of those. Uh, so that's a, something altogether. And I want to uh, point out on my, um, on the, my back thing, you see, most of these are certificates, but the three here are actually from my, my community college. I'm working on completing my bachelor's degree at the moment. 
I do not, because I do not have that, it will not be on that wall. And I just got a notification. Okay. Now something else has nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now. But whenever you're looking at colleges, you want to make sure that you make your application the most desirable you can make it. When you're doing your volunteer work, look for what those institutions have a high drive for. Like, I would not say uh, doing um, like um, assisting chaplaincy stuff in, in, in your church if you're looking for a extremely secular institution for your uh, out of uh, outside uh, volunteer work for that application. I would say like something like the United Way or something. That would be an excellent uh, direction to uh, go. But if you're going for a religious institution, you want to, uh, your, your uh, volunteer stuff should align a lot more closely with that institution's ideology. That's outside the uh, volunteer work. The kinds of courses you take in college, in, in high school, excuse me, high school. That's something you want to consider. Sometimes it's better to take a, um, a foreign language course when you're in, in high school than it is to take like a theater course or a art course for a major like going into like a, a business program or so in a more competitive market um, in, a, in, an F, uh, in a more standard formulaic setting. You want to be careful about things because you want to have, yes, you want to have a wide option base, but you want to have things that are desirable for the institutions that you're applying for and a lot and sometimes even your even where you come from your life story is an impact statement so you you want to be what you can do outside of your uh, life uh, circumstances uh, default circumstances do but you may benefit from also writing about your life circumstances as well. Again, life circumstances, that may be a lower, lower tier thing to look at, along with the uh, SAT things. It's, it's, a, it's a trend situation. I am in the process of considering what to do for my master's after I get done with my bachelor's degree. I don't know what school I'm going through, but I know what major I want to do my master's in. So I'm looking at each school that offers a program to see where they fit properly and where I as a candidate would fit.